Hi, Scott Lackman from 4510 TV. Joining me today, my good friend Jenny Butler. How are you going, Jenny? Good, Scotty. That's good. Now, um, I know you're a little bit nervous, but we're going to talk about everything good happening in Caboolture. That's what 4510 TV is all about. We want to we want to showcase what's good in the area, what's what's good to uh, local attractions, our local community, and you're certainly the lady that's involved in our local community. You're involved in St Columban's College. You're involved in Torrens Road Special School. You're involved in uh, Caboolture. Morrisfield East State School, yep. you're involved in Caboolture Family Network yep. uh, and you're involved in a new project for 2014 which we'll get to a little bit later in the interview. So Jenny, tell us, give us a wrap up of 2013 in the Caboolture community. Well Scotty, um, we started with the Bundaberg floods, 26th of January, community got together, um, Rotary held an appeal and collected um, pretty much pretty pretty much three thousand dollars over three thousand dollars, and all from the community. Um, from there, we had the very first uh, Walk for Autism Awareness Day, where Caboolture lit it up blue right okay. over there at the tree. Yep. Um, very excited about that one because that is an international sanctioned event, and very proud that Caboolture was a part of it. Um, there's been lots on there's Scotty, been lots. lots. Well, step, that's keep, just the start. That's just the start, that's January, February, we got over the floods. Um, there, there's been a, what I wanted to try to talk to you about today and for the viewers is just our spirit in Caboolture, our community spirit. Um, have you seen a trend of that growing uh, this year? Um, maybe with some changes of community groups or, or maybe different board members getting involved? Have you seen a change? Scotty, I think um, people want to get involved and, and I have definitely seen that um, you can't call it escalate, but it move where people that aren't necessarily doing too much or don't, or even the ones that do have busy lives, they're actually going, well, you know, how can I get involved? And I mean, perfect example of that was CEO Challenge. Yes, thank you. Um, yeah, I, I think it's just um, what I wanted to elaborate on. People are starting to put their hand up. Yep. That, um, it's not just a donation um, or maybe a, a check that they can, they can afford to give. But I think people want to get physically involved in our community and, and the best way to do that is, is pick a cause and put your hand up and say, yeah, I'll, I'll come along to that on Saturday or I'll come and help you sell raffle tickets or it might be turn a sausage at the sausage sizzle. Is that what you're seeing? Exactly. Yep. And it's, like you said, it's not necessarily the financial support. It is just about being there and being part of whatever it is that's going yep. on. Yep. So, yeah. And, um, and when we look forward to 2014, I'm going to save our special project to the end of the interview. But 2014, um, I think you'll see, uh, from where I stand in the, in the local business community, I think we'll see more and more people wanting to get involved. Um, what's on your radar for 2014? On my radar is to grow the international sanctioned event of Light It Up Blue, or, um, and for, that's for, for autism. autism. Yeah. Um, I'd like to see that grow, and obviously a lot more people get involved with that. Um, another big thing on the agenda is the Morton Bay All Inclusive Play Space. Okay, she said the magic words: the Morton <laughs> Bay All Area All Inclusive Area Play Space. Now let's elaborate on that. For the viewers out there, Jenny Butler, a beautiful lady, tireless worker in our community, but also lives He's with a very child. Good. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Jenny, Jenny does live with a son with autism, and and that's why it's special to your heart. And um, and I, for one, I'll put my hand up and help with with Autism Day next year. But let's move on Thank to this you. all-inclusive play space. Um, it's for people of all abilities. Yes. Can come together, and yes. we're looking at the location of of Creek, and that's located down at Burpengary. Um, it is. It is. Um, um, it is an organisation where there is some space available. Yes. When we talk about an all-inclusive play area, what does that mean? It's, it's for everybody, Scott, for absolutely everybody. So it's for, for families. Um, so we'll use my family as an example. Um, it means that Gabriel and his siblings, his brothers and sisters, can go have a, a ride on the swing, have a ride on the slides or the carousel and we play together. Yep. So and, and, the, and all the play equipment, um, I, I like to use the word all abilities rather than disabilities, yep. uh, but those with all abilities, um, the play area is designed to be uh, structurally safe and sound obviously, Absolutely. but um, it, is, um, it is like larger play equipment we're talking about, uh, suitable for wheelchair? Yes, it's all going to be wheelchair accessible, <coughs> <coughs> um, but the idea is that it is for everybody yep. um, and for all families, no one misses out. 
The um, what inspired that was the Landsborough Pioneer Park up at Landsborough. Yes. Um, so I know the special school. We'd always go up there for field trips, um, excursions, and most special schools do. Um, and and why don't we families, have one in Caboolture? Exactly. Yeah. Ex exactly, Scotty. Yeah. We're, exactly. We're, a, we're a growing population and, um, and, and I think the awareness of having uh, play areas available for all abilities um, is, is key to our, our growing population. Um, a meeting on Friday without uh, giving away too much uh, confidential information, <laughs> but you met, with, you met with the three states of yes. government, uh, federal, yes. State, state and local yeah. um, and what was that about? Okay, so Beco, so with with this um, all-inclusive place, this all in, this inclusive place space, sorry, um, it involves a partnership so that pa that partnerships with Touch by Olivia Foundation, uh, Council which is Councillor Adrian Riddell because it's in his division, his division. And, and not just that I've got to give uh, Councillor Riddell a bit of a wrap here because he was the first one to say, right, I like this idea, I have a vision for this idea, Work. I'll work with you, we'll work together and get it happening. Yes. Um, and from there, Touch by Olivia came on board and where state fits in is is hopefully what this meeting has um, initiate, initiated yep. and so it's my hope that they will get on board. Um, let's cut to the chase. We yeah. need money. We do. Um, <laughs> it's a it's a it's a community uh, resource that we know we yeah. we're going to see the benefit out of yeah. out of families uh, using this space. Yeah. Let's cut to the chase. We need money to to fund it. Yeah. What sort of dollars are we talking about? We're looking high five hundreds. High five hundred okay. thousand. And that's the completion of the park. That's the park. Yeah. It, um, it, it sounds om ominous, but um, I'm sure with the right levels of government and, and local. Um, local authorities getting involved, um, it's a no-brainer for me. I think we need this in the area. Oh, we do. We do, Scotty. In the Moreton Bay area alone, there's approximately 19,000 people uh, with a disability, wow. which is huge. Um, Caboolture, I'm not sure. However, we do have the largest special school in Queensland. And next year, we've, we've got an influx. It's right up over 230 students. Wow, 230 students at the Torrance Road Special yeah. School, Caboolture Special That's School. That's what I heard on Friday. Okay. Um, the best thing I like about Torrance Road uh, School is um, it, it is for all abilities. Um, but I like their um, I like their logo or their um, their wording. It's um, for life we learn. Um, you know, it's right on the, right on the. What am I trying to say? Uh, knock, knock the nail on the head with that yes. one. Um, I'm hoping by our interview this morning, uh, people that are watching it, they'll say, "Well, yeah, I do want to get involved in something. It might be, uh, it might be a cause for cancer. It might be a cause for disabilities. Yeah. It might be the awareness of the domestic violence in our region. Yeah. Whatever that cause might be, or even just a, a local group, Rotary, Lions, um, BPW for Women, Leukemia Foundation. Leukemia Foundation. There is so many organisations in the Caboolture region, and um, I think what we need is more people like you to put your hand up in 2014. They're coming. They are coming. <laughs> Seriously, they're, yeah. they're out there and and it is growing. It really is. And really, I, I really feel humble with the generosity of the corporates in Caboolture, but just not just the corporates, the people as well. They are very generous and it's just a matter of knowing what's happening where um, and doing. Yeah. And, and doing that's that's yeah. that's probably a key word as well. Um, what would you say to someone down down the lens of the camera? They they want to get involved. They want to help. Uh, what, what's your what's your words of wisdom? Um, do it, do it. If you see something that needs doing, then then do it. But but do it because you want to do it, and do it because you can. Um, that's bottom line. Yeah. Do it because you can. And there's. You can hop on online. I know council has a website for volunteers. Um, your local state member also has a group, a list of charities that yeah. um, always, you know, that are always looking for help. So, yeah. if you want to get involved, give hop online or give your state member a call. Brian. Yeah. Jenny, nice to chat with you. Um, we'll finish our little latte and green tea. We're, we're at Cafe Dolce, which is um, the cafe at the hub, uh, part of the Caboolture CBD uh, revitalisation. We have a beautiful facility here with the library, uh, museum, uh, and also uh, we're lucky, training Scotty. rooms. We are very lucky. <laughs> 
Um, and I tell you what, the coffee's not bad either. It's lovely. My green tea's beautiful. <laughs> Jenny Butler, um, tireless community worker in the Caboolture region, and myself, Scott, from 4510TV. Thanks for joining us. We might catch up with Jenny in the new year and talk more about the all inclusive area play space uh, that's going to be <laughs> down at Creek and uh, don't make me say Creek again but um, You're okay. yeah we, we You're do okay. good good old good old <laughs> Caboolture um, there, there's certainly lots of heart in our area oh, and um, and I just like to see more people participate and put their hand up to help uh, organizations and community groups in the future beautiful thank you Scotty thank uh, you